Good day, this is Jane and Weekday News. I'm Lafine Wigan. Here now are the top stories. A St. Thomas pastor has been accused of sexually assaulting a minor. He has been charged with rape, grievous sexual assault, and sexual grooming. Allegedly, the incident occurred in 2012 while the pastor was counseling the child. A report was filed with the Center for Investigation of Sexual Offenses and Child Abuse Isoka on Thursday, and the pastor was arrested on Saturday. He faced the Morant Bay Resident Magistrates Court yesterday. However, due to the magistrate's absence, the pastor is scheduled to return to court tomorrow, July 30. The Office of Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management, ODPEM, will be reviewing the response to the bushfires in Jacks Hill and surrounding communities in St. Andrew on the weekend. The agency has announced that it will be examining whether there were weaknesses and how these can be addressed. Questions were raised about the coordination of various state entities in responding to the fires. Areas of concern included traffic management, crowd control, and communication between the police and the fire brigade. Acting Director General of ODPEM Richard Thompson acknowledged that the response could have been better. In regional news, a three-year-old girl is in critical condition at the Eric Williams Medical Sciences Complex after she was raped allegedly by a 17-year-old boy at her parents' home in Guaucotamana, Trinidad. According to police, the incident took place at about 2 p.m. on Friday. The toddler was reportedly left in the living room of the home watching television as the child's mother went to tend to her husband who police said was bedridden. Police said while the woman was in the bedroom, she heard screaming from the back of the home. The mother rushed out to investigate the source of the noise and she found the toddler lying on the ground, naked and bleeding from her genital area. The three-year-old was then rushed to the Arima District Medical Hospital before she was transferred to the Sciences Complex where she reportedly remained in a critical condition up to yesterday. The teenager was arrested and up to late yesterday was said to be in the custody of Komuto Police. In sports news, Jamaica is currently in second place in the athletics medal standing off the 20th Commonwealth Games underway in Glasgow, Scotland. After two days of competition, although tied on five medals, Jamaica securing two goals, a silver and two bronze, sits behind African nation Kenya. Kenya leads, however, having gained two gold and three silver. Swimmer Alia Atkinson won bronze in the 100-meter breaststroke at a Toll Cross Swimming Center to add to her silver last Friday in the 50-meter breaststroke. Odin Richards gave a memorable and historic gold medal performance in a Commonwealth Games and a national record of 21.61 meters. He defeated New Zealand's Tom Walsh and Canada's Tim Nadeau for the top spot. Kemar Bailey Cole gave a season-best performance in 10.00 seconds for a victory in the men 100 meter. He beat a powerful field including countryman Nikhil Ashmi who won bronze in a time of 10.12 seconds. The silver went to England's Adam Gemini in 10.10 seconds. Meanwhile, in the women's 100-meter equivalent, Veronica Campbell-Brown came second to Nigeria's Blessed Okabari, who ran a game's record of 10.85 seconds, erasing Bahamas' Debbie Ferguson's mark of 10.91 seconds. Campbell-Brown finished in 11.03 seconds. In women's triple jump qualification, Kimberly Williams progressed atop the field with 13.94 meters. In netball, the Sunshine Girls made it four wins from as many starts when they defeated Malawi 81-50. 400-meter hurler Kali Spencer ran the fastest time of 55.45 seconds on Tuesday to qualify for the final of the women's 400-meter obstacle race at Hampden Park. And those were the headlines for this hour. You can watch our live stream at jamaicanewsnetwork.com. I'm Lafayne Wigan, and this is JNN News Worth Watching.